First, though, it is a new era for President Obama in Washington today. Congress is back in session with Democrats still controlling both houses, but only for the next month. So the question is, will he be able to get anything done during this lame duck session? CBS News congressional correspondent Nancy Cordes joins us from Capitol Hill. Good morning, Nancy. Good morning, Harry. And the first item on his agenda is tax cuts. Those Bush-era tax cuts are set to expire at the end of the year, so they don't have much time to figure it out. The president wants to extend some of them. The Republicans want to extend all of them. But they are now signaling a willingness, both sides, to compromise. Heading home from Asia, President Obama told reporters on Air Force One he's open to a compromise with Republicans who want to extend the Bush tax cuts to everyone, including the wealthiest Americans. I want to hear from them how strongly they feel about it, particularly given that they're also saying they want to control the deficit and debt. Republicans in turn signaled they might be open to a temporary extension of all the tax cuts for a couple of years. Well, if that's all we could get out of the president, and he is the president, so we'll work with him on that. For Democrats, cutting a deal now is crucial because in January they lose their House majority. Nearly 100 newly elected members, all but eight of them Republicans, arrived in Washington this weekend for a one-week orientation. Have you spent much time in Washington in the past? I have not. Yeah? I have not. So uh, we're looking forward to it. More than a third have never held elective office before. 32 of them are small business owners. At least 37 of the incoming members consider themselves part of the Tea Party, determined to make their mark on the Republican Party. I'm not going to compromise my principles. Uh, that's, that's very important that we stick to our principles. But uh, as long as I'm fighting toward a limited government, free markets, individual liberty, uh, I'm willing to accept that I'm not going to get an ideal system. Today, all those new members will get a crash course in government. It's an all-day class, Harry, and it's called Congress 101. Nancy Cordes in Washington this morning. Thank you very much.